Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of comparing and ordering numbers using a number line and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see we have just a part of a number line here running from 21 to 22. And we have 4 terms down here, 21.09 or 21 and 9 hundredths, 43 over 2, 21.7 or 21 and 7 tenths, and then 21 and two-thirds. And the question is, is which one of these is going to be closest to 22? And so what we need to do is we need to plot these points. And you see we have an improper fraction, we have a mixed number, and then we have two decimals. So let's see if we can put those two decimals on our number line first. Then we'll worry about our fractions. So we don't have anything between 21 and 22, but we can go ahead and start cutting this in half. And we can say, well, half of between 21 and 22 is going to get you 21.5 or we can call it 21 and a half. In decimal form, mixed number form is going to be the same thing. And then we can take each of those halves, we can break those halves in halves, and then we're going to get half of 50, we'll call this 21.50, make it a little bit easier, it'll be 21 and 25. Think of it as a dollar, so this is going to be 21.75 because this is going to be 21 and a quarter, and this is going to be 21 and three quarters, or 21 and three fourths. So now that we have some demarcations that we can use on our number line, we can start putting these decimals at least in place here. So you see we have our 21.09, or 21 and nine hundredths. Well, this is 21 and 25 hundredths right here. So this is probably going to be somewhere around here. It's not very far off. And so I'm going to call this, we're just going to estimate, 21 and 9 tenths. So I have a feeling that's going to be the farthest away from 22. Now let's take a look at 21 and 7 tenths. Well, here's my 21 and 75 hundredths. So that's going to be just a little bit before there. And I'm going to just draw a little arrow here. And we can call this 21 and 7 tenths. So we've got these two taken care of. So now we need 43 over 2. Well, that's an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and make that into a mixed number. So we're going to divide up. 2 goes into 43. Well, 2 goes into 4 twice. That's 4. So 2 goes into 3 once. And it is going to give me a remainder. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave that remainder of 1 up there as my numerator and my denominator is going to be uh, what my divisor is so it's going to be 21 and a half and we actually have that right here so 43 over 2 is just the improper fraction for 21 and a half so we'll call this 43 over 2 so now all I need to worry about is my 21 and 2 thirds well 21 and 2 thirds if you don't know where that is let's just take this 2 thirds and let's make that into a decimal. You should know what the decimal is. If not, you can divide the 3 into 2, and it's going to go in 6 times, and it's actually going to be 6 repeating, because it's going to keep getting 2 all the way down. We're going to go 6, 6, so it's 22. So really, this is going to be 21.66 going on forever. We'll put a little line up there. So that's going to go right around here somewhere. 21 and 2 thirds or 21 and 6 repeating. So you see our four terms here. Once we have our number line, we split it up a little bit with the halves and the quarters. We can see that our closest one is actually going to be this one right here, 21 and 7 tenths. Now it's time for you to try. Take a moment and look at these four terms down here at the bottom. Try to figure out which one is going to be closest to 5. When you have your answer, unpause the video and check your work. Hopefully you broke up your number line into fourths here, and we've got the 5.7, so that's going to get you right about here, 5.7. 5.37 is going to be, oh, just a little bit right there, perhaps. Now let's worry about our 16 thirds. That's an improper fraction, same as 5 and 1 third, and 5 and 1 third is the same as 5.3 repeating. So that is going to be just a little bit before, because that's 5.37, this is 5.33, and our 5.35 is the same as 5.6, which means that's going to go right around here, and our smallest answer is going to be this 16 thirds. 